Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft on an M series Apple Silicon Mac. So you've got an M1, M2, M3 or even an M4 Mac and you want to be able to play Minecraft Bedrock. So this is the version that plays with consoles, it has full controller support, you can connect two realms as well. Then we're going to have to be using the Windows version of the game running through the Microsoft Store. And the only way to get this up and running is to use a piece of software called Parallels in order to run and install Windows 11 ARM on your Mac. I'm also going to show you some very common issues with installing Minecraft and also being able to log in with your Microsoft account once you have Minecraft installed. There are several issues running through the virtual machine. I'm going to show you the entire process of installing Windows 11 ARM on a Mac and how to fix those bugs and issues so you can get the best Minecraft Bedrock experience on your Mac. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click the link at the top of the video description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once we click on the link and click go to site, so here we're going to be taken to the Parallels website and what we're going to do is click the buy now button. And if we scroll down here, we'll be able to make a selection between the standard edition and the pro edition. So at the moment, I recommend downloading the pro edition, which unlocks additional features. And it's actually going to be cheaper than buying the standard edition at the moment, especially because it comes with a a really nice 25% off discount. So here we're going to press the buy now button and here you can see the 25% discount has already been applied. If you're watching this in the future what you can do is to enter the coupon code AppleWiki10 and you can get a discount from there as well. However if you are interested in just trying this out for the very first time you can actually just go ahead and use the free trial. You can click the try free button and here we can make full use of a 14 day free trial here. Just enter your email address, agree to the terms and conditions and press the submit button. If you do decide to make a purchase venture remember to use my link in the description to help support this channel. So here we'll be taken to the Parallels trial screen here. I'm going to click on download Parallels desktop and that started the download process. So all we need to do now is to minimize and then we're going to go ahead and install Parallels. So click on find it here, click on downloads and then we're going to find the install Parallels desktop DMG. We're going to double click and then we're going to double click on install Parallels desktop. Click on the open button here and then click allow and then we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement. Click on enable and here we can choose whether we want to submit data, click enable or disable. And now it's downloading the Parallels software. So just wait for that to finish. Here it's now saying it's installing. And here we're going to enter our password. We just type that in. Here it's initializing. So here it's going to ask us to create a new virtual machine. And you can actually go ahead and download a multitude of different operating systems, including different versions of Mac OS, Ubuntu, Fedora Linux, Debian, Kali Linux, etc. However, today what we're going to be interested in is downloading and installing Windows 11 ARM. So in order to do this, all you have to do is to click this button here, get Windows 11 from Microsoft and then press continue. Here it's saying download and install Windows 11. We're going to click install Windows here. So this is very easy to do. It's a one click process, far simpler than you doing this on VMware Fusion or on UTM. Parallels is going to handle the download and installation of Windows 11 ARM. No other steps are required. So here it's saying it's validating. So now what we can do is click try free for 14 days here. And we're going to go ahead and activate a free trial. So here it's saying the trial period ends after 14 days. Here we're going to click continue trial. So this is Windows 11 ARM operating within this little window here. And now this is going through the standard Windows setup. The no intervention is required on the user end. This is what you'd normally see if you were installing Windows 11 on bare metal. Now it's saying getting ready. Here it's saying just a moment. It's saying here the PC will restart, but it's just a virtual machine that's going to restart. Here it's restarting. And now we're booting into Windows 11. So here we're going to allow these permissions by clicking allow here and then allow here. And now it's saying the installation is complete. Click to continue. So here what we're going to do is to accept the Windows license agreement, press accept. And now it's saying here that Windows 11 has successfully installed. It is warning us that we need to activate our copy on Windows 11. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later in this video. The first thing that you might want to do is to full screen this. So you can go ahead and click the green button here and it's going to full screen the virtual machine and it takes a few moments to resize. And what I'm going to do is right click on the wallpaper and then click on display settings. I'm just going to change the scaling. So I like this at 100% so that it's a bit more like the rest of the computer in terms of DPI scaling. So this is a pretty typical Windows screen. So if you want to be able to put this back into a window, all you've got to do is on the keyboard, press control and option at the same time. And then you'll be able to
to toggle the ability to open up this menu bar at the top. You can exit full screen and come back into this window. So just remember control and option allows you to release your mouse from the virtual machine window. So another thing we want to do is to configure the virtual machine because we're on default settings at the moment. We can click on the start menu here and then shut down fully. And then once that has fully shut down, it's going to go into the control center here. And now we can configure it. So click on this cog icon and then click on CPU and memory. So this has automatically determined the number of CPU cores and the amount of RAM that's allocated to this virtual machine. But if we click on manual, then you could actually change this to something a bit more substantial. So for example, so for example, ideally you want half of the CPU cores allocated to the virtual machine. For example, I'm using the M3 Max with 16 CPU cores. So in that case, I would want to allocate eight CPU cores to the virtual machine. And ideally you want about half of the RAM as well. So I've got 40 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to put 20 gigabytes of RAM for the virtual machine. If you're using something like an M1, then you only have eight CPU cores. So you only want half of that, four CPU cores there. And then let's say you've only got eight gigabytes of RAM. You only want four allocated to the virtual machine. So make sure you play around with this. You should try and optimize this to take advantage of your machine as much as possible, especially considering that memory is also allocated to graphics memory as well. You want as much RAM as possible in order to get the best performance for gaming in particular. So first thing I'm going to do is talk about activation. I'll click on the start menu here. I'm going to type in the word activate, and then you can click on this to look at activation settings. And it says here that this is not active at the moment. You can go ahead and buy a product key if you want to. So I actually talk about whether you need to buy a product key in a different video. What I'm going to do is leave a link in the description for my video here. It basically talks about whether you actually need to buy a Windows 11 license in order to run a virtual machine on Parallels and what some of the cheaper alternatives might be. So make sure to check this one out. For the time being, I'm just going to be testing this out, so I won't be activating it. So here what we're going to do now is to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store by pressing on the Start menu, doing a search for Microsoft Store, and then clicking Open. And then we're going to be doing a search for Minecraft. So I've purchased this before, but you can purchase this directly through the Microsoft Store. Once the game's been added to your Microsoft account, you can go ahead and press the install button. You can check the download progress by clicking the downloads tab and then just let that complete. So now that Microphone is downloaded, we can go ahead and open the game. Let's play. And then this is the Minecraft Bedrock version, which it's not available to play on macOS. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account. So if you want to sign in and you're getting this error message, what you can do is go ahead and make sure that we have the Xbox app downloaded and installed. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Xbox app here. And as I get it through the store here, if you type in Xbox into the search bar, go to apps and then go to the Xbox app here and then make sure this is downloaded and installed and then click the open button. So here what we're going to do is click Install Gaming Services, click Get here, press Yes, that's downloading. So now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Xbox app here and then sign into our account. I'm just going to select my Microsoft account, press Let's Go, and uh, now we're signed in. I can minimize this and I'm going to quit Minecraft and then uh, basically go ahead and open this again. Here we're going to press Play and then sign in. And if you continue to have issues, you can go ahead and download the Xbox Identity Provider if this hasn't been installed directly by the Xbox app. If you can't find this, I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's an App Store link here, which I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to. So this is now installed. And so what I'm going to do now is to go to my library, and then reopen Minecraft for Windows, press play. So I'm going to press the sign in button. And now I'm signed in with my account correctly. Now I've got my real Xbox account attached here. I can go ahead and access DLC, Marketplace, and then all of the online realms as well. So all of this content is now on my Mac too. So anyway, this is how you get Minecraft Bedrock running on an Apple Silicon Mac using Windows 11 ARM running through the Parallels virtual machine software. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.